Today in the news, the cops are called on DRAM, Elon gets one-upped, and Google strikes again. What's up guys, I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. Let's get started with memory manufacturer SK Hynix. Unfortunately, it seems like their DRAM manufacturing plant has been fabbing and shipping a lot of defective wafers. The current number sits at 240,000 wafers worth $1.7 billion. This will definitely lead to a huge price increase, which, what, wait, what is happening? Yeah, I'm innocent. Now, that story has been going around, but thankfully it isn't true. While SK Hynix did have some DRAM product issues, the scale of it has been greatly over-exaggerated. So much so that SK called the local authorities to file libel and misinformation charges. So for now, don't worry too much. DDR memory prices should stay stable for a little while. GDDR memory, on the other hand, that's graphics memory, well, it's expected to go up. Which means, and it's kind of insane to say this given the current prices, but it means that GPU prices will rise again. Yep, another damn reason for the prices to go up. According to TrendForce, the price of the chips themselves, that's the memory chips, will go up between 8 to 13%. Thankfully, the memory isn't the biggest cost for the GPU. It's about 10 to 15% of the total cost of the card. So hopefully it won't impact the prices too much. Moving on, and wow, this seems like it was forever ago, but two months ago on April Fools, Elon Musk announced that he would put Doge on the moon. Yes, a literal Doge coin on the moon. And this would apparently happen in the first quarter of 2022. Well, it looks like SpaceX and Doge now have competition and they might be beaten to the punch on top of that. BitMEX, a peer-to-peer -peer crypto trading platform, has just announced that they will put Bitcoin on the moon. Yep, it seems like it's a thing now. What's gonna be next, Ethereum on Mars? Anyways, the company partnered up with Astro Robotics Technology Inc, which is supposed to send their first commercial lander to the moon, and well, there's gonna be a Bitcoin on it, with the value of the coin at the time of minting engraved on the coin. The mission is planned to happen on Q4 of this year, meaning one quarter before Dogecoin. Next up, let's talk Google Graveyard. And yes, that means that Google has once again come to collect the soul of one of its apps. This time it's the Measure app, which, well, you know, could measure the distance or size of objects by using its cameras and various sensors. Now, sure, if you even tried the app, you know that it wasn't super accurate, but a lot of phones had specific hardware for that specific app. And I mean, it might still be useful as a tool. In any case, if you have it, nice. But if you don't have the app, well, it won't be available on the Play Store anymore. And speaking of dead tech, or more accurately, tech that is screaming, please kill me, we have Stadia. So the company announced a ton of possible ways to play at the start of Stadia's life. Well, it's only now that the company is adding support for Android TV. I mean, wow, talk about late. It only took them a year and a half. For now, these are the only officially supported devices, but if yours is not on the list and you still want to try Stadia for whatever reason, well, you can get the app and run it in experimental mode. In gaming news, EA and DICE just unveiled their latest entry into the Battlefield IP. It's called Battlefield 2042 and wow, look at that trailer. There's so much stuff going on, but unfortunately, it's not for me, just because it's a battle royale and I'm not a big fan of them. In All Out Warfare, Battlefield 2042 promises the largest maps in the franchise and for the first time up to 128 players. Now that is pretty good. What I like though is the dynamic elements and the hazards like tornadoes ripping through the map or sandstorms that block out the sun. That's pretty neat. Unfortunately, it looks like EA will be charging a premium for next-gen consoles because Xbox One, PS4, and PC can get it for $59.99 and next-gen consoles for $69.99. Ouch. And speaking of games, here's a free one for you guys, Frostpunk. It's a survival game, but basically as a society. I mean, I tried it out last year when it was free and I really liked it. So get it if you want it. If not, well, the Epic Store does have its mega sale going on right now, so you can pick something up. Personally, I picked up Super Meat Boy forever because I had a $10 coupon. 
Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for the catch up. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you wanna talk about today's stories. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video right here to subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. I don't have a review or anything fun to do at the end of the video this time, so I'm just gonna sit here in silence.